Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So, we are here today to sit down and talk about if Haley were to do a collaboration palette with a brand. Now, I do not know what brand I would collaborate with. This is a ColourPop Empty Magnetic Palette, and I can tell you one thing, it would not be ColourPop. But either way, this is something I have been working on putting together behind the scenes for about two months now because I really did want this to be like my perfect collab palette if I were to make one. So I'm super excited to get to show you guys this. But before we get into it, I do just wanna say, I don't know if this has already been done before by someone else. Before I post this video, I will try to do like a quick YouTube search. If I find anyone that has done this content, I will leave them listed in my description box. However, if you look in my description box and you're like, hmm, I know that this other person has done it and they're not listed there, please sound off in the comments down below and let us all know that there are other people you know, out there who have done this. Or if you yourself have done this type of video, please, I would, you know, love more than, be more than happy. See, it's already a Haley video because she's getting tongue tied. I would be more than happy to come out, come and check out your video as well. I had so much fun doing this and I feel like a lot of us could have a lot of fun doing this. So if this is something that you would like to do and film and put on your channel, please feel free to. Okay, so before I open this up and do a reveal of what my collab palette would look like, I do just want to say I gave myself like two criteria and not saying that this is how you have to go about it, but I really wanted to be able to sit here and show you like an actual built palette. So I only used eyeshadow palettes and pans that were magnetic. So for instance, as far as I know, the Glam Light palettes are not magnetic, but Glam Light does have some of my favorite shades. I didn't want to pop those out of the cardboard packaging and try to put them into here. So that eliminated all palettes like that, like the Glam Light palettes. And then secondly, I did not include any palettes that were already collaboration palettes. So for instance, within my Heather Austin palette, the collaboration palette she did with Adept Cosmetics, that shade Passport is absolutely one of my hands down favorite shades across the board within my entire collection. And the Adept Cosmetics palettes are magnetic, but it just felt weird putting that shade into here. You know what I mean? Because that is Heather Austin's baby. Like she worked so hard on it. So I know this is all for funsies and for pretend, but it just felt weird. So you're not gonna see any types of shades like that represented within my palette. Okay, so the last thing that I will say before we get into what this palette looks like, what does Haley's collaboration palette look like, in the description box, I will leave listed all of the like shade names, what palette they came from, what brand it is, and things like that, just in case you're curious. And I do plan on inserting like a close-up clip of this because I feel like the ring light is gonna wash it out a little bit, of course. Um, and a swatch clip. So when I do that, like when you see that on the screen, I will of course include like what shade it is and all of that information on the screen for you. Okay, so now let's finally open this up. Let's do this big reveal. I'm just having a lot of fun, you know? I assume you're having a lot of fun or you still wouldn't be watching this video. But here's what Haley's collaboration palette would look like if she got to put one together. I had, like I said, so much fun putting this together and trying to figure out like what shades I really felt like actually were like my favorite shades, trying to put them together and make a palette that I felt like would be a good palette for like all year round. Also like just the layout too, like trying to think about like how to put these shadows in together and make it like pleasing to the eye and things like that. So I'm sure you can notice this is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette that I have put together. And I have said many times to you guys, I really like an even split between mattes and shimmers. I'm not really quite sure why, but I made sure to have six mattes and six shimmers within my collaboration palette. So I will, you will see like the first row is nothing but mattes. Then the second row, there's two shimmers in the middle. And then the fourth and final, or the fourth and final. Haley can't count. The third and final row is all shimmer shades. I really like the layout of this. I feel like it's easy to digest. And then I did try to like go and make color families like in the columns. So like that first column, you've got like the really pretty like blues and purples with like a neutral brown. The second column is more again, blues and purples. And then the last two columns is more of like your greens and like kind of neutrals, like there is another darker brown and like a, a mustardy yellow shade. 
So yeah, I did try to pay attention to that. So you'll have to let me know down below. How do you think I did with like layout and things like that? Because you know, that is something important when you are trying to put together a palette. All right, so we will just get into this shade by shade and talk a little bit about like why I wanted to include these shades within a, you know, fantasy collaboration palette. So this first shade up here is just, I think it's Antelope from uh, Menagerie Cosmetics. This is just one of those great, like gray kind of brown shades. I absolutely love these kinds of shades, not only for my eyebrows, so of course I had to put it in here, but I really do love these as transition shades. I just feel like they work so well with a lot of the other matte shades that are in here, especially the darker ones, like the blue and the purple and the green. So the next shade over is a very lovely, like purpley kind of shade. Um, it's a very berry kind of shade. And you guys know, I love my berries. Berries to me are neutral colors and I especially love matte berries. I feel like you can put a berry shade in your outer V and put almost any type of lid shade that you want with it. So of course I had to have a matte berry shade within here. Then the next shade, are we surprised that there's quite a few greens in Haley's collaboration palette? No, we should not be surprised by that. So I do have a nice matte army green. I wish that this honestly went a little bit darker and in my perfect collaboration palette, I think I would try to strive to make this a little bit darker. This is one of the dark matte greens from the Kaleidos Futurism 1, the sci-fi green palette. Um, so like I said, since I limited myself on like eligible palettes to pick shades from, like that was kind of limiting. This was the closest I could get and I still really do like this shade, but just know like I would probably, if I were to actually create a palette, make something just a little bit darker. And then the last shade to round off this top row is a dark like kind of chocolatey brown, like plummy brown shade. Those are my favorite types of browns, again, to use in more neutral eye looks to deepen up the outer V. But I also feel like when you're doing like a more colorful eye look, like let's say you're playing with some of those like berries and greens that are in here, the chocolate like plummy brown shade is just so good to like round out the look but not go super, super dark because me personally, I don't like a black shadow in the outer V. Like I'll wear them from time to time, but they're not like my favorite, but a chocolate plummy brown shade is my favorite for that type of thing. Okay, so second row. We do have a matte blue shade here. So again, this is a shadow where, I think this is from ColourPop. Um, it's not like my favorite performing matte blue shade, but it was the only matte blue shade I had that was like a magnetic single. So I went ahead and included it in here. I do like the depth of this. I just don't like the formula of ColourPop's darker matte shades like this one. I just feel like it's not there, like it's not up to par. So, but again, I would not be collaborating with ColourPop. So either way, I feel like the matte blue really helps to round this out. And I feel like some of you might be looking at this like, oh, that's a pop of blue. Don't you hate the pop of blue? And I do hate the pop of blue effect. However, I feel like the blue that I included in here will work really well, one with the berry eyeshadow. Like you throw that berry eyeshadow into your crease, the blue in your outer V, and then one of these lid shades, like you are good to go. I feel like the blue will also play nicely with the two browns, and we haven't gotten to it yet, but our final matte shade is like a mustardy yellow shade. And I feel like if you're careful and you don't over blend them and you do more of like a two-tone crease, you could get a really fun look because again, since it is a blue and a yellow, if you over blend them, you're gonna get a green but I still think they could pair really nicely together. And then I feel like the blue is going to be such a nice like deepening shape for some of these other shimmers that do lean on the more blue purple side if you were wanting to create a more monochromatic eye look. All right, so now we come to our first shimmer shade, which is a wonderful icy taupey purpley shade. You guys have heard me rave about these types of shadows so many times. It's one of my favorite colors, so of course I had to include this. I love these shades as all over the lid shades. I love them as inner corner highlight shades. I feel like they are so versatile. Like it's gonna pair so nicely with the browns, with the blue, with the berry. And I haven't tried it yet, but you know what? I would pair that with the green to be quite honest. So then our second shimmer shade that we have in here is a ColourPop shimmer. So this is Tea Garden. I feel like this is one of those really good like brown based kind of shifty green shades. I feel like it is a little bit darker, but it never comes across too dark on my eyes when I use it as a lid shade. And so especially pairing it with like the mustard matte, that's the next shadow 
the chocolatey brown and the matte army green kind of shade that we've already talked about like that right there is just one little perfect quad so I really wanted to include a shade like that because I do love one my greens but I also love those shifty greens that are a little bit more brown based and have like a little bit of yellowness to them okay so then the final matte shade like we've already said is just a really nice standard like mustard yellow kind of matte shade I just feel like this will be an easy transition shade especially when you're working with some of those darker colors like I said like the berry the green or the darker brown so now we can move on down into our last row which is all shimmer shades so this first one is a shadow from the Adept Nin Hydrin palette it is just one of my favorite kind of shifty shades this goes from like blue to purple it has like a little bit of pink in it I just think it's so much fun and especially like on the eyes paired with like some of the browns or even pairing it with the berry that has been one of my favorite ways to wear this type of shade is with berry eyeshadow so I just really thought that it would be fun to include this I also have loved fading it um, into the icy taupey purple silver shade like using both of those on the lid um, so yeah that was one thing I guess I did fail to mention is that I have had this palette constructed for quite some time and I have been playing around with it and like kind of putting it to the test before I did this video and I even have it like on my eyes today so let's finish off talking about these last three shades so the next one is um actually you know what funnily enough the three shades that make up this column the matte berry the icy like taupey purple shade and then this uh blue shade that we're going to talk about all of those come from the kaleidos features and three astro pink palette so uh anyway this shade again is kind of like that adept shade it is a blue shade that has like a purple shift to it however i feel like the shift is not as intense as it is with the adept shade and i feel like the blueness of this uh particular shade is a darker blue than that adept shade so even though they are kind of similar i feel like you're gonna get different looks using both of those um maybe not necessarily together but i feel like if you put one on your lid and then the other on the other lid like you'll be able to see the difference and they're just those are two of my favorite types of like shifty blue shimmery shades okay so then the next shadow to that this is a single from sugar drizzle so this is sugar mint if i'm not mistaken so it is in some lighting it can look like a very like pastel kind of green shade but in other lighting it honestly reminds me so much of the electric shade from the abh subculture palette and that was one of my absolute hands down favorite shades so having a green like shifty shade like that would just be so fun in the palette i love to use this as an all over the lid shade especially with that shift like again it's just so fun but it's also a really great like inner corner highlight shade which is how i'm choosing to wear it today okay so then the last shade this is the shade that is actually my lid shade that i'm wearing in today's video so this is a menagerie single and i think it's called animal kingdom i have to say i absolutely love this this is one of those shades that goes from like gold to pink to green it is just so pretty and so versatile and that is just i feel like that kind of shade will really round out this palette because this is the probably the main shimmer shade i would say that just would effortlessly go with every single matte shade like i feel like a lot of the shimmers pair really nicely with you know a lot of the mattes but maybe not every single matte but this animal kingdom shade having a shade like this in the palette would definitely pair so nicely with every single matte eyeshadow so that rounds out my you know perfect uh collaboration palette so like i said i do have it on in today's eye look so i started out with the mustard shade and then i deepened up my outer v with the berry shade then like i said i have animal kingdom all over my lids sugar mint as my inner corner highlight shade and then i just put the chocolate plummy brown on my lower lash line i just feel like it's so pretty i am so feeling myself i love sunset eyes so yeah had a lot of fun doing this you'll have to let me know down below how do you think i did do you think that this is a like palette that really does encapsulate like how i present myself to you um so yeah i also want to probably revisit this in like six months and just see have my thoughts and feelings changed about this do i still feel like i did a really good job so let me know if you're interested in seeing that and then the only other question i will leave you with is uh since we've been doing more eye looks do you want to see me do some eye looks with this palette on this channel maybe that'll inspire you to pull out different like a variety of different palettes to recreate looks or play around with your singles so 
again, I thank you so much for being here and making it until the end and putting up with me and my rantings and my ravings. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please, if you want to do this again, please feel free to and just let me know so that I can come and check it out because I just think that this is a lot of fun. I had so much fun doing it, but I would also have so much fun watching someone else do it. So, I hope you're having a good day, a good night, or a good whatever, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.